What's going on guys, it's Kashan from Devil's Den Detailing here with Seth from Cards and Couches. Today we're going to be talking about engine bay detailing. So we're going to be doing a few products, so be sure to stay tuned for the whole series. But today we're going to be discussing on how to clean your engine bay. This is my method of cleaning. There are hundreds and hundreds of ways of cleaning your uh, engine bay. This is just my method, so I know we'll get comments about how oh, this is not the way you do it, but once again, this is my method of doing it. It's been proven from me and a few other pro detailers, so this is just the way we handle it. Now there are other ways of doing it. You know, you can take a cloth and clean it by hand by hand, but that takes forever. It's very tedious. So what we're gonna be talking about today are these degreasers. The one we're gonna be trying out today is CRC, heavy duty, Pro Strength Degreaser. It is a water-based and biodegradable formula. We'll be trying this one out on Zepp's Mustang. So let's see how well it works. So with modern engines, you know, everyone tends to freak out like their water, when water gets in their engines, like it's gonna seize. Like, no, that's not what happens. Come on, guys. These are and these are cars that are driven on the road daily. When it rains, come on, there is water that gets in there. Your, your car isn't gonna die if water touches it, okay? But I think we do have to cover up a few things. Obviously, say with the air intake, we do wanna take a bag Push it down in there. Make sure it goes all the way over it. Hashtag PMAS. <laughs> PMAS not fitting bags. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, it's actually fitting pretty well. So there we go. We got we covered the oxygen sensor and everything. We covered the intake, uh, the air intake. We're good. Now, biggest thing is what do I, what do we do with wires? In this case, I'm going to be showing you two different ways of cleaning the engine bay the first way we're going to be doing it is with a small with just a garden hose now i know that not everyone has access to a pressure washer but a degreaser can be found at pretty much any auto store or whatever so most wiring on most modern cars nowadays are uh, with water sealant in the back of them they do have, have put some things in there so you don't necessarily have to worry if, if you are really sketched out and you're really worried about it you can you know you can take a bag and do the same thing it's just very tedious and for the quick five minute detail, it's not really truly worth it to me. But we will still do it, do it however, just to be sure. Let's grab the bag real fast. Get, grab that. Let's cover it up real fast. It's pretty easy, huh? It's pretty easy, not bad at all, you know. Have to be cautious. Everybody, everybody, you know, just gotta be cautious about it. There you go, you know, it's covered, you know. I don't gotta worry about the degreaser going in there, water, whenever we do it. You know, with the hose stream, you're not, with a garden hose, you're not really gonna damage any of the wiring. It's pretty much like, you know, like if you were driving your car through the rain. But yes, yeah, so if you're doing it with the pressure washer, you have to be very careful. You have to keep that hose and the wand pretty far back. I would never take a hose and go like pretty much up to here with it. That, that's, even though this is just shrouding, you still would never wanna do that. It's still it's just too much pressure. I mean, you do have exposed wiring back here, and there's just, I mean, you know, once again, you just gotta be careful of how you're gonna handle everything. Let's get to it. The engine is still a little bit warm. Uh, depending on the product you use, we do, we'll go over with the product on, uh, different products have different things, you know, Gunk has, does say keep the engine cool, CRC, let's just make sure it doesn't really state anything. It, it's pretty much, use as needed so we are this engine is a little bit warm i do prefer a warmer engine that way the grease and stuff is still a little bit warm to the touch and you can get it off pretty easy so let's see how we're going to handle this all right so just in the water i just got a bucket of water a few hog hair brushes and a grit guard on the bottom We've let the CRC dwell for about four or five minutes now. And now we're just gonna go ahead and agitate everything uh, on the car and the engine bay. Now that we're confident that we've uh, agitated all the grease that we possibly could get to, now it's time to rinse it off. As you can see, you just have a standard garden hose, put it on shower mode. We're not going jet. You can go to jet if you know you really truly think you need to go to it. You, I, you might see me do it in a few areas where I think 
the shower just simply isn't doing its job you're not going to hurt the car this way so let's get to it so i'm just going to towel dry as much as i can and then everything else you can do one of two things you can either just let it naturally air dry it takes a little bit longer if you're uh if you would want to put on any dressing on it or you can take an air compressor just be very careful you don't drive more water into the tighter areas so it's just up to you personal preference on that you do want to make sure that you don't have any uh, water sitting where any of the spark plug wires go in or anything in there around there around the valve covers or anything like that so just be careful when you're when you are drying as well all right, now that we've towel dried as much as we possibly can, I got the air compressor with me with a pretty narrow nozzle. And now anywhere I feel that needs a little bit more pressure or just need to get it, make sure that there's no water in there, I'll just hit it with the air compressor real fast. You don't need to do this step, it's not necessary. I have the tools and most people do, so you can do this. Otherwise you can just let it naturally air dry and, it, and that will uh, do the job. But just since we do have the tools, I'll show you what you can do. So obviously we have some water in these uh, in this well. We just do real fast. And... So now that the engine bay has been cleaned, we want to dress it. Now, when we, when we choose our dressings, we got to be real careful. You don't want anything oil-based because it will attract dirt. And obviously, when we, and if it attracts dirt, dirt does build up heat. You don't want to do any of that. And you don't want silicone, which also retains it and uh, prevents heat. It's not good for the engine components. So what I have here is Meguiar's Hyper Dressing Diluted 1 to 1 it, for a much higher uh, shine. This is a water-based non-silicone dressing, and it will go on beautifully. You can put this on any of the plastic shrouding. And if it does go on the wires, I'm not really worried about it. It will, you know, it will clean up. But if you, you know, if you want to just take a quick towel and just get it up, it's all good. Uh, hyper dressing is one of those cool dressings where you could spray it on. You can leave it on for 24 hours. It does, it is blue, like a light, lightish blue, but it does dry on clear. So even if we do miss a spot tonight or today, you know, it will dry overnight and it'll be perfectly clear. So it's, it's really nice. Uh, so we're just gonna spray this on real fast. So let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes, let the plastic absorb it, and then we'll just wipe it off. All right, so it's been it was 15 minutes. We wiped everything off. Obviously, as you can see, hyperdressing did a phenomenal job of making all the trim panel black and lustrous and making it shine very well. Uh, did its job, and as long as that maintains this, it'll last a good while. You can finally now pop that hood at car shows. You don't have to be afraid to do that anymore. <laughs> yep, and then as soon as you're, once you're done, you can just oh, put plastic bags. Obviously, that's probably what we should have done. Yeah, because now we got some water, but yeah, remove all the right. bags and then you know, we just wipe it down. Water just water just water you know this is a perfect is this a perfect engine detail absolutely not it could be much more tedious much more in depth this is just a quick method of getting it done this is not how this is not how i'd be doing engine bay details for my customers but just because just for the sake of a video this is how i was just showing zep how you would get it done when he wants to do it at home you can be more meticulous and way more in depth on a very crowded engine bay such as this one where you already have very little room to work with it becomes more and more of a pain to start working in then more tighter areas like there is still dirt right here and dirt down there but you know it, it's just not a show car at the end of the day so that's just how you do a quick engine bay detail so we forgot to touch base on what product we use this time. This time around, it was the CRC Heavy Duty Pro Strength Degreaser. The all-purpose degreaser, water-based, biodegradable. Now, did this do its job? I think absolutely it did do its job. At three bucks a, a, a bottle, I mean, that's not bad. You know, it did do its job. There are far worse chemicals. It's not very 
It didn't have a horrible fragrance such as gunk. Gunk does smell like kerosene and petroleum mix. This didn't have really any aroma at all. Like, I mean, it was just pretty very, did its job and did its thing. I think CRC made a great product at three bucks a bottle. You can't really complain. So we just wanna make sure we touch base on what we did for this vehicle. And don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share this video.